all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information i see the all in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop it will be the first one collector my let's go down to the news proper i see the what uh you don't shell it uh, but before i go start i go say shout out to all of us of freedom all over the world uh people where we say freedom the sweet i say uh no jihan wata when you are no mboro beria okay wait to i see the b um some group don't they accuse hope who's of them ma for being behind mazen and the canals continuous detention and myself as i see that information i say waiting you gain waiting you gain uh for uh making sure that um uh, your brother that your brother is is detained uh i'm yet to understand uh waiting waiting you gain <laughs> oh yeah uh make i carry you go to the full detail of that particular information with the share now As the big group don't say one governor governors against anti Igbo steps decry bloodbath in Imo allegation. Uh, they say this allegation is baseless. So, but let's go to the full detail of the information. Make you see uh, waiting to happen. A group known as American Military uh, Veterans of Igbo descent, Avid, has accused Governor Hope. Who's the mouth of Imo State of sabotaging efforts to release the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Nandikano, from incarceration? Avid also challenged Uzo Dima to provide his innocence in the worrisome insecurity that engulfed Imo State since the establishment of a Bubago security outfit and alleged engagement of a Sari boss men in the outfit. The group is an open in an open letter tagged your excellency unimaginable hostility for Igbos and the need for change of mind. Dated Sunday, April 14th, cautioned Ozodima to retrace his steps. The letter was signed by Avid President Chief Sylvester Onya and Secretary Dr. Godson Obiago, respectively. But in a swift response, the governor denied any involvement in Kano's deal, dismissing all the allegations as false and baseless. Governor Ozadema, who spoke through his chief press secretary, Mr. Obi Kenwachiku, said, I think these, your veterans, or whatever they call themselves, or you call them, have long lost touch with the reality back home. I think their view on both issues, race, is rubbish and lack merit. The allegations are totally false, baseless, thoughtless, and senseless. <laughs> Avid, all right. Uh, the information will be said you they see for that your table uh, where they come across to you that the people will be said that they call uh, the American veterans of Igbo descent uh, will be so uh, Igbo uh, Igbo brothers will they for that of um. Uh, American Army, but they don't become veterans, they don't retire. Uh, as they be, they don't they ask who puts them and say, waiting in gain, uh, because according to them, uh, they say, na nah, nah, hope, uh, and nah, I follow, they make sure, say, Mazin and the canal uh, will not come out uh, for that uh, DSS, uh, DSS detention facility. And they don't they ask questions, they say, uh, hope, wait till you gain. Uh, uh, when you want to make sure uh, that your brother remains in that particular DSS station, and they're asking him to remember posterity, to remember posterity, uh, that let him not forget, let him not think that after his governorship, that um, other people will, what is it called, will not remember the history and what he has done. Well, meanwhile, let's go down to the full details of the information as they what as Mazi Simon Epa don't drop another bond shell. Epa don't drop another bond shell. Epa don't drop another bombshell as they be. 
They say, why you were on social media shouting LP, LP? We are busy training soldiers Simon Eba to Nigerians. Biafra agitator Simon Eba has reacted to the criti criticism of Nigerians who mocked him for saying he would support Israel with 15,000 troops in their war against Iran. On Sunday, April 14, 2024, Iran launched a barrage of missiles and drones towards Israel in a bid to show his support to the country. San Amonepa pledged 15,000 Biafra liberation troops to Israel. Several Nigerians laughed at him, calling his outstretch a joke. Others urged him to return home and help his people in the southeast if he was serious with his offer to help Israel. In his response, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile said, Why they were Why they were on social media shouting LP, LP, Labour Party during the 2023 general election, he was training soldiers. He wrote on his head page, formerly Twitter, Why you were on social media shouting LP, LP, we were busy training soldiers for the defense of Biafra. Nigeria terrorists at HQ Nigerian Army tried in Imo State with 35 armored tanks fighter jets over 50 kilos and went to Lagwaja and Musa to verify the end result. They dance in the market, share flyers on the street of Biafra, they fall like chickens in Biafra land, they will not tell you a story, but they are quick to tell you about Okoma because it has nothing to do with Biafra. They will start to cry again very soon. Eba Fora said, that the Biafra government will be part of the rescue mission to safeguard Israel in Nigeria if they come under Islamic attack in Abuja. They know our capabilities. That's why all of them are mad about the Biafra government proposal to at Israel to support them with 15,000 ground forces when the time comes. The Biafra government will be part of the rescue mission to safeguard at Israel in Nigeria if they come under Islamic state attack in Abuja. We will stand on this proposal to the end of time. They are worried because they know we are capable. We have the manpower. I want to see how it happened for that particular matter where we say they saw. Um, years ago, during the government of um, uh, 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 Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, now, Sowari Omole is out of Nigeria. The court has... Uh, giving him back his passport, and now he can travel again. Then my question is, why is Mazin and the Kano's different? Why is Mazin and the Kano's case different? On a we siamala o kona go bad longko. On a we siamala o kona go ba no we ja wad longko. Even nadu. On a we siamala o Kona go bad the long come when I see you in the banyo no. Or we see a malapu. Kona go bad the long come when I see the ibo. In the banyo na siko no kunwe madwe liliye go go eze gono. Kama madwe liliye megene go eze ono when I see the ibo biko no. Well keni ni luno megene go eze ono ono. I see the bi. Um, it be like say the house of rep, no way in my mind as they carry a uh, mouth they put for this matter. Nam the Kano is, Ni is Nigerian, like is a Nigerian, like Igoho, Sore, Abia rep appeals for IPOB leaders release. And uh, Abia rep, now in the talk, this one say that Mazen Nam the Kano is like every other citizen in this nation. Igoho was given the same the same benefit. Uh, Sowori was given the same benefit. Should I say it is a political pardon or an indirect something? But still yet, these people were pardoned. Why is Mazen and the Kano's case different? Let's go down to what uh, this statement is saying. Obi Agocha, member of the House of Representatives representing Ikuano. Umuahia not, Umuahia not, 
and Umuahia South Federal Constituency of Abia State has appealed for the unconditional release of Nam Dekano, detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. In Saturday's statement, Agocha appealed to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to assist in securing the freedom of the Biafra agitator, emphasizing that Kano's release will signify a commitment to promoting peace and progress in the Southeast region and the welfare of the Igbo people. According to him, Kano, Omoole, Sowere, Sunday Igoho, and Godwin Emefere are Nigerian citizens facing various allegations by the Nigerian government. Yet, Sowere and Igoho have been granted freedom due to the judiciary commitment to safeguarding citizens' rights. These four are citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria accused by the government of various alleged offenses. Sowere and Igoho are free men by reason of the determination of the judiciary in protecting the right of these citizens, and I must add rightly so. Is Nam the Kano not a citizen? Does Nam the Kano not have a commitment, a, concor a concomitant, constitutional right to be granted bail. Should Nam the Kano at this point be released unconditionally? Is there one set of rule for other Nigerians from different zones and another for Igbos within the Southeast zone he query? I hereby appeal to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR, to use his exalted good offices in ensuring the unconditional an immediate release of citizen Nam the Kano as a demonstration of good faith in supporting the peaceful development of the Southeast and the well-being of Nibo. The statement added. So it be eh uh, or anybody will be say eh on your mind the man man the ma. Ma can answer na no iko e jam alone mado e jam alone ya bonye eh number center no na ni no wele nti kana to kale what I go. When I see the boy, thing they happen, and also Nigerian government, what is happening? Uh, look at our statesman uh, asking this question to know what is actually happening. Why is Mazen and the Kanu's case different? Why is he not? Why has he not been released like every other Nigerian that has been released and pardoned by the federal government? The federal government. Uh, 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 have released Sunday Go. They have also released uh, 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 Omore, his passport, uh, and allowed him to to be moving about the way he wants. But why is it? Why is Mazin and the Kano's case different? I want to ask, what is this bad and and dangerous thing that Mazin and the Kano has done that has disallowed him from? Getting the opportunity and benefits, the benevolent blessings that every other citizens of this nation have enjoyed. That same people who are answering the same case with him have enjoyed. So he is back to America. Sunday Go is uh, back in his country, moving about. In Sunday Ogo's house, there was the same invasion as Mazin and the Kano's uh, hometown invasion too. But as it is, uh, it looks as uh, that, that Mazin and the Kano uh, is the only scapegoat for this matter. Uh, but meanwhile, you know, get a CV where you never be before. Come on, they're buying a sin. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. As it be, a uh, suspected court is done deny aftermath of court clash in Lagos. Uh, there was a court clash in Lagos State, and the people will be said to know the poor eyes. The, the men court people, the people will be say uh, everybody knows them saying and then they run things for that Lagos. Don't deny say, you know, be them all. Say, no, be them, they commit this one, or you be like saying, you go by Aranapolotania. I see they be, um, they say some Chibo girls will be say uh, the, the men of the BH kidnapped that time. That some of them has gone back to this BH boy so. Because right there in, the, in that hostage, uh, some of these BH boys got married to them. Got married to many of them. 
and uh, give the give them uh, uh, preg impregnated them, and so some of them has given birth. And the information reaching on our table is that some of these girls who were kidnapped by Chibo girls during the the uh, these Chibo girls who were kidnapped by the men of the BH during the time of good luck Jonathan has returned back by themselves to some of these BH members. And I was asking why was all the and I'm uh, that's why I'm now asking this question. Why was all the pressure on good luck a better Jonathan? Because there was so much pressure on that man during that 2015, uh, when this matter they saw, 2015-2016, when this matter of bring back our girls, Chibo girls they saw, now this same Chibo girls has, has gone back, have gone back, they have gone back to their, to their normal ways. They have gone back to these people who the government believed kidnapped them and because of this a lot of money was paid who are we deceiving meanwhile now here i go to wind down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us kindly go ahead and subscribe like and share